Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Today we're diving into some of the best calendar and notes applications for 2021. Now you're probably wondering what are a calendar and notes application? Well this essentially is an application that combines both your calendar events with your notes and this is a really popular concept most recently. A way to connect things that are event based to your notes because some of the time and most of the time we correlate our calendar appointments and things like that to what we do actually in a day. A lot of time and companies like Magical are trying to aim towards this as the calendar as this sort of central globe in the middle with everything orbiting around it. And it's very similar to what they're trying to do in these apps. Now these applications, I've picked out four, but there are some more of them. So I don't want to um, you know, discredit any of the good ones out there, but hopefully this is just a starter video in case you're looking for something that binds, combines calendar and notes. Now the first one I want to point out is Agenda Notes. Now Agenda Notes is very Apple-centric. Apple, Apple -centric. It's available on iOS and Mac, and it has a 20, I think $27.99 fee for one year worth of upgrades. You can obviously upgrade again for the next year. Um, so it's technically like an annual subscription, but it does allow free experience without some of the things like template plates um, and more of the advanced markdown abilities that you may get inside of the application. But Agenda Notes is a really interesting application because you can connect your, your calendar events to your notes and create them from the sidebar, which is really cool. So if you're connected to Apple Calendar and you have G Google or G Suite connected to your Apple Calendar, it really does help you to fine tune actually what's coming up and start planning ahead for it. Now, I really like the concepts in it, like on the agenda, so you can hone in on stuff that really matters and you can see everything that's upcoming. And in the premium side of stuff, you can use some of the search to really analyze what other meetings are coming up and use the regular tags and organization systems you'd see in other note takers. Now Agenda, we've done a small course on it if you do want to learn it. It's free and you can check it out below. However, uh, it's a very interesting application because in my opinion, I think it was one of those first applications that started this sort of movement of calendar and notes and a lot of them have followed in uh, pursuit. Now one application that did sort of was sort of release at similar times is Note Plan 3 and that's our second selection. Again, a very Apple-centric application. Note Plan 3 combines the calendar and notes concept, but also adds tasks as well. So it's sort of a bit like Rome research to some extent because you can actually start using bi-directional linking. It's very similar to Agenda because it allows you to organize your calendar and notes together, but also uh, brings in the sort of basis, basic some task management inside of there to really get your abilities going uh, in terms of an all-in-one hub system. So it goes a little bit of a step further than Agenda, but comes at a little bit of a steeper price. $6.99 per month is what you pay for the personal plan, which does total up to quite a lot per year if you were gonna go uh, for a full year with this on a recurring subscription. But Note Plan 3 does offer a nice mix of abilities. If you're someone that wants a little bit of a taste of things like Obsidian, Rome, things like you know task management in, for example, uh, Things 3 and Todoist, maybe, that's maybe not as home and fine-tune this app but you also want like document management and also uh, your calendar then this is quite a nice application for that but again very Apple centric just so that you're aware now most recently our third recommendation is craft now they recently added this ability we actually did a video on it and if you do want to learn craft we do have a, a mini free course that you can check out but basically this is a web iOS Mac application web is still early days but craft now allows you to create a new daily note associated to a specific date or calendar event that you may have. So it's really cool. So you could take daily journal notes inside a craft, but then you could also take, you know, notes based on an event or a meeting which is helpful for planning meetings and going about um, your day with that. Now, Craft is growing in feature sets, and we did an article about how it's really, with its recent investment, really ramping up, um, you, which you can check out below. Now, our fourth and final recommendation is Mem. Now, this is a super new application, guys, so it's very early days, and it only works with G Suite users at the moment, and it's also invite only. But what I like about this application is it has the ability to create a note for each event, but it has ability called templates, which allows you to create a new template every time you go ahead and create a new note and you can choose from a range of templates in the flows area that you can create from scratch which is really really cool because it can save you time for example if you want to pre-build some like meeting note setups in there or some agendas and you can plan your agenda around a specific meeting note or a meeting uh, event or an appointment so very cool in terms of being able to collaborate with others and that they have the potential to do that inside of mem so mem is available on mac and web and it's free at the moment but still early days and we're planning a 
course on it very soon, so do check that out if we include the link in the description. Anyway guys, a big, big thank you. Hopefully you found this video useful in overviewing some of the best calendar and notes applications for 2021. Obviously there's a fair few more, but hopefully went into enough depth into the concepts behind it so that you can go and make some good decisions for yourself. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please do make sure you're subscribed and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio. Bye.